name is Michael. And my name is Richard. We are the lead investigators and the co-founders of the Paranormal Travelers team. All of our lives we want to discover the truth of the unknown. To seek out what we cannot explain, see, touch, or feel using the most advanced technology available. So as our trusted team comes together, we will spend one night searching for unexplained and the most haunted locations in and out of our area. Join us on our investigation as we seek the truth. Ghosts, demons, Bigfoot, poltergeists, UFOs. We are your team. We seek the truth. We are the Paranormal Travelers. Investigation, Haunted Hotel, Room 206, Orlando, Florida. Sixteen hours away from Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. The Paranormal Travelers leads Richard and myself take you to Orlando, Florida to a haunted hotel Rumors claim that a spirit of a woman who killed her spouse in the very same location that we decided to rent for a week haunts the room. The spirit haunts the room by making tapping sounds, pounds on the wall, even tries to manifest herself by walking into the other guest's room. Can we make contact with this spirit woman? Can she answer our questions on who what and where it's all up next on this special location episode of orlando it all starts now This is really freaky. Uh, Michael and I, M Michael and I just shot the intro, and look at this. The K2 is already gone crazy. So it, it might be a little poofed up, spooky little night. So we'll have to see what happens here. But the K2 is already going a little little haywire here, and this is supposedly the haunted hotel room. Room 206, so let's let's see what happens. This is amazing. I, I turned it on just to see if the battery was good or not mm -hmm. when we got here. So well, I when I brought it up, I turned it on. And that, that the lady murdered her husband. I don't know. That's a good question. So I wonder if this is the bed because the story goes that in this room that we're staying in, 206, 
um, a lady murdered her husband in here, and it was a crime scene, and um, they cleaned it all up, they ripped all the carpeting out and stuff. But I'm wondering if the dead, the that original dead. This is just amazing. I mean, to have something like this go off like this. Wow. Now if you watch, hold on. I'll lift it up. Nothing. Go on yeah. the bed again. Yeah, but if I go to the bed. Nothing. Now it's gone. Oh. It's none of this. None of this is on. These are just batteries. There's nothing in this but uh, empty cameras and stuff for paranormal. No, it's still going off. Yeah. Wow. And now it's gone. Oh, there it goes again. I think it's going to be an exciting night, so let's get this night started, shall we? here make a tapping sound. That's outside. Make a tapping sound in here if you're in here with us. Come on, you did it last night. Make a tapping sound. Tapping sound one more time. Thank you. Very good. If you're with me, make a tapping sound. Thank you. Can you try to make the energy a little bit more? Make that tapping sound one more time. One more time, that's all I ask. Make one more tapping sound. Please go like this. standing in the doorway of the bathroom. I got chills right up my friggin' back. Are you in the bathroom? <sighs> oh my god. Are you in the bathroom? Yes. Why are you in the bathroom? Are you evil? Are you evil? Are you a murderer? Did you murder somebody? Yes, I'm here. They're all 
call you on my phone. I can only talk one at a one to a time. It sounds like they're arguing on who should talk first. That's what it sounds like. I can only talk to one at a time. Who are you? Is there something on the SLS? I felt like I just got scratched. Yeah, because look your lower back now. my name. What is my name? Can you move towards the light? our Facebook page or paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. Check out our episodes on our YouTube channel.
It's now my turn to interact with whatever is in the room with us. And after seeing what was with Michael on camera, I cannot say that I'm not a little nervous. This time, however, Michael is behind the camera, as well as keeping an eye on the SLS cam for any figures that may appear. There was an orb that just shot right by you. There was an orb that just shot right by you. There was an orb that just shot right by you. There was an orb that just shot right by you. Yes, there was an orb that literally just shot right by you. First orb ever. Amazing that orb that went right by you. It was a pure white orb. Can you make a tapping sound? There's a stick figure right by you. What, to my right or left? On to your right. Put your right hand up. Yes. He's just like bending over to the side trying to look at who you are. He's like just looking at you, staring at you. more over to, I'm trying to see where I'm at. Computer's reversed. I know. He's over by the window. He's kicking your foot. Why are you kicking me? He's literally kicking your foot. Or kicking your leg. Like, get the hell away. My leg's twitching. My he's, muscle. He's kicking you. Like, Why are you kicking me? What did I do? Even Lisa said, yes, he's kicking you. Do you see that, Lisa? Like, see how he's taking his bottom of his foot and kicking Rick's right leg? Why are you kicking he's me? Got, wait, wait, wait. I just saw something move in that chair over there, dude. Rick, he's in you. I just got chills all over my body just before you said that. He's in you because... On both legs, your legs are like, your sticks of your legs are hanging out of your leg out. That's hard to explain. Hold on for a second. I'm going to take the camera off you for a second. Look at that. That is crazy. I'm going to kick your leg. Kick your leg. I've never seen that do that before, ever. Still yeah, I've never seen. Normally, you're stick. I'm gonna sit down. It's still doing that. It's kicking. It's inside of you, like trying to kick, like a. I don't. It's hard to explain. You know what you were sawing with me? How it looked like it was in me or something and doing something. On top of your skeleton, you can see it. There's two skeletons. Well, you there's no two skeletons. It's just your skeleton with your bones trying to pop out of your legs. Maybe just messing with my legs. You just have this turned down. 
I think, yeah. If not, you're fine. Can I have your name? Give me your name. The swamp. He's draining the swamp. Don't worry about him. What's your name? You heard me. What's your name? I heard that too. Make a tapping noise for me. There you go. Can you do two in a row? Two tapping noises? Tapping noises for Kel. What I only want you to do is this. I keep hearing them. Somebody don't Yeah. 
Yep. Is this your chair? Is this your chair? No. That was cute. The chair made it look like it was an orb. Are you a vengeful spirit? Yeah, it could be just people 
in another room, but awful noisy. Are you making these noises in every room around us?
and all of their guys are clothes and, and a couple papers. That's it. Are you look at that. That's this? crazy. Are you watching what I'm doing? Crazy. What's he doing? Like waving or it's it's just crazy. Are you mad that we're in here? Are you mad? That is amazing. I'm not. Thanks. Crazy. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Will you let me come near you? Just reach your hand out a little, slowly. I won't come near you unless you say yes. Is it okay if I can come near you? If not, say no. Don't want me to come near you. Say no. 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 Run. Now we're told to run. I'm not running. Is our little friend still there? What do you want with us? What do you want with this room? Still there. Reach for my hand. Come on. I'll guide you to the light. Reach for my hand. I think he's I think he's confused, like he doesn't know where he's at. Mm-hmm. there, whatever it is, it's, it's like going nuts, like waving its arms and legs and... Like that? 
Oh, really, really fast, yeah. You seem like you're mad. Why are you mad? Because we can see you. We you know you're there. I'm looking right at you. Are you mad because we can see you and you don't like it? Set off that that black little box there on the bed. Set off that light like you were earlier if, if you don't like us, that we can see you. If you don't like it, we can see you. Set that meter off. Are the viewers seeing it? Yeah, they're seeing it. Why do you like sitting there? Is that where you were sitting last night when we were sleeping? I don't get it. Make a knock. Instead of a tapping noise, make a knock. slowed down and it's reaching up towards you, there you go, but it's over. it's still in the same exact spot but it is reaching out towards you. Now I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just going to back up a little bit more, okay? I want you to come and touch my shoulder, okay? Here it goes. It touched your shoulder. There you go. It's okay, you don't have to be afraid. It's going berserk now. Like it's throwing stuff at the ceiling. It's really weird. <laughs> Are you throwing something up at the ceiling? Tell you what, I'll leave you if you make a tapping sound one last time. Make a tapping sound. There you go. Thank you. I will leave you now that you did that, okay? There you go. See? You help me out, I help you out. Very good. good. Very good. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to leave the hotel room. It's actually in front of the TV because I can see the lamp now. Because you're in the we, We're leaving the hotel room because maybe you can see here. Facebook page or paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. Check out our episodes on our YouTube channel.
let's debunk, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually two um, neighbors outside. They actually sound like they're fighting. Have a seat next to me like you did with Michael. Come on. You were sitting right over here. Come over here and sit next to me. I can't see it now. I won't be able to see it now because the thing isn't turned that way. inside our bodies because your whole stick figure you're sitting still but your inside of your stick figure is moving around like crazy yeah that's what they do that yours had something else attached to yours it was pulling at your back and pulling at your neck but you don't it's, you don't have a stick that's the crazy thing you don't have a spirit stick figure in you your whole stick figure your itself like your legs are going twisted backwards and stuff, your arms are just twitching. Thank you. 
Why are you here? Why do you stay in this hotel? Tell me that move my hand. Mm -hmm. Or something new. Mm -hmm. All right, because I just had a sock thrown at me. What? Uh, I just had a sock thrown at me. Don't see any. That's on the floor. There's no socks in front of me. Now there's socks in front of me. Hmm. I swear it just flew across the room. Wow. Yeah, there was none even there before. Are you sure that they weren't there?
talking with the EVP recorder or touch that piece of equipment over there? Why won't you talk to me? Light them up. Would you rather talk to Michael than me? Let's get through the scare box. No, you got to, like what you were just saying, you said you want to talk to Michael, you got to ask him those questions when the spirit box is on. crazy because that orb that I saw at the very beginning of you filming you it was like as soon as you came into the picture that big solid orb that was really white and round yeah. went from the front of the side where the TV is right in front of your chest really slow and then built it right through the wall it was like a completely solid white orb and I'll even show you this if you want to do a playback and watch it Yeah, guys, we're going to go outside and take a break. Let us know if you guys see anything on the Facebook Live on the SLS. Now, that's Rick Skeleton. Uh 16 hour drive to Orlando to spend a weekend in a haunted hotel room was a mystery in our eyes. We captured spirits coming through the spirit box, our SLS cam picking up spirit figures and not to mention the spirit of a woman manifesting into an orb leaving the room. It was a strange night for the both of us. We feel as a spirit haunts a space, they're truly reliving their story in a replay, which they can never fully understand how to move forward. The hotel has a dark past, and as for now, the spirit's woman's soul remains stuck, reliving the crime that she committed and stuck in everlasting darkness.